posted on Facebook yesterday about how I've been tracking my weight since January and I had so many questions about um, specifics that I thought I would do a quick video just to sort of explain it um, maybe in a way that's easier to tell from you know uh, just looking at a still picture um, I just I didn't make an insert I didn't actually do anything I have the um, week on a page with notes uh, travelers uh, notebook brand insert and all I did was I needed just the, the grid so this is this is a normal page and then I flipped this page so you can see it's like upside down and back to back with another one of the weekly pages and I just taped it in. Um, I could have easily just used a grid uh, notebook and ripped those out but you know I mean this was just the easiest thing to do. Um, and what I did is I wrote the weights down the side which I just had to tape over. I mean I don't normally do that actually but it's my weight is a very emotional thing for me so I just stuck some tape over it for this video. Um, my plan was basically not to weigh myself every day. Matter of fact the point was to not weigh myself every day because I just get crazy with that. I mean I weigh myself every day and then I weigh myself and it doesn't look right so I weigh my, myself later that day and I end up weighing myself all day long. Um, so what my plan was, um, and you can see I have months across the top and I have dates in the line under it. And um, so I just, like for here, January. So those are the dates I weighed myself in January and they corresponded, they started after a physical I got and I went on um, a medication I went on metformin so I decided it was really important for me to track my weight so nothing here is the, the only thing pre-filled was the weights down the side so um, so basically I weighed myself whenever I thought it was going to be good news um, you know when I'm all bloated and I can't zip my pants. I mean, what's the point? I already know what's going to happen. So, um, you know, I would wait for a day. I felt pretty good and, um, you know, or at least a couple times a month if I didn't feel good about it, I would still do it anyway. And so I would plot the weights and write the dates across. And then I used a translucent sticky note. I, I, I'm not a sticky note sticker that I got from the uh, Hobonichi site. And the only designation here is I change the color every month. And I'm running out of them now, so I had to use the larger dots. But um, really any dot, you know, any of the translucent market dots, any of the dots, actually probably doesn't even have to be translucent. Any dots would be fine, and I just kept it really simple. I didn't make myself crazy with 0 0.2, 0 0.1, Point three down point one I mean that just makes me nuts and upset so I only marked by whole numbers so anything between one weight and another was the lower weight um, because I mean you know you can see I went up and down and had I tried to make myself crazy with you know point two pounds it just would have been depressing so and it's easier this way. Um, you need a much smaller graph when you're going up and down by, by one increment at a time. So um, the only other thing that I did was these highlighted lines. Um, there were sometimes I thought there were things that would affect my weight. Um, I had the flu right here. And as you can see, I had a big drop. Um, I increased my metformin dose here. And as you can see, my looks like my set point actually got lower at this point I was running lower ever since I did that um, this was actually a vacation and I was paying so much attention that I actually lost weight then um, and here is another med change so 
I wrote down a few things. Basically, it's really simple. Um, the weights go down here by one. The dates go across the top. The highlighted lines are just things I think might affect my weight, like vacation or being sick or medicine or whatever. And I changed the dot colors monthly so I can see times when I did really well or less well. Um, and I posted because I'm actually on this, this page here and I'm now down um, 22 pounds, which is actually pretty exciting. Um, I can't say it was fast. Um, I started at the end of January and it is now July. And I mean, you can see if you look at the dates I weighed, I was like not obsessed with weighing myself, which has been the best thing um, for me. So I hope that clears everything up. This could be really done anywhere on any, any grid. Um, it was really simple. And I mean, I know like I've done Weight Watchers and I know, and I know that there's a, a chart available um, on their website, but it's actually a little clunky because you have to change the dates and things and the little book they give you really just gives you a running list of numbers, which just isn't as visual because what, you know, there's always going to be up and downs, but what you really need is to see a um, downward trend in your graph and you know that's you know got to be enough because there, there's always going to be big dips and peaks in both directions so i hope that clears everything up and um thanks for all the interest on that um post guys <laughs>